What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I didn't do anything for the last two days just because my back was really hurting from just moving around and trying to be active. So had to take two days off to recover. Feeling a little bit better today. Um, it's roughly... Uh, what was it? 10.05. So 10.05 now. I can't sleep. So I figured mm, let's do something. And I was going to put on the headlights and bumper, but um, I kind of want to put a clear wrap that I have on the headlights because these are glass. And I want to make it to where it's protective so it doesn't rock chips and everything doesn't uh, hit it once I start turning this back into a daily driver. So I'm going to take off this wrap. This is the clear wrap that... I used as a bra for the carbon fiber. That's what I want to use for the headlights. So I found a blow dryer in here because I do not have a heat gun. So I'm going to try the blow dryer, see how that works. Hopefully it works. Uh, good news is, though, I was looking and I found the carbon fiber wrap. So this is the carbon fiber wrap that Randy let me is going to let me use to wrap the wind visor or the guard for the bike rack so and I mean it's not too bad it looks pretty good I mean, compared to real carbon and then it's just so you guys can actually see the difference so I mean not bad because it is hard for me to find anything carbon fiber for this car the only thing I could ever find is um, what's it called hood trunk and the diffuser canards that go, or like I believe that's what they're called, they cut the fenders to have the air vent, and like side mirrors, and just like small things. I, I can never find a front bumper, I can never find fenders, I can never find doors, and I do have an LX body, so no sunroof, and they do not make a carbon fiber top for this car yet either, so that's why when I Got the car wrapped it back in the like 2010 11 or something. I just did this. is the first carbon fiber that came out. So, as you can tell, it got better. So, the carbon fiber got much better from back in the day. So, I mean, this was like the new stuff that come out. So, and also, good news I do have the seats in. So, seats are in. I'm gonna turn on this. I don't think the gun light's gonna be bright enough, but let me turn on the extra turn on this other light. I'm trying to get as much I know it's dark in this garage, it's late at night. But seat belts are in, seats are in, both sides. I do need to play with the passenger because this inner part does not match up with both wise on the brackets. So I need to um, either tap it, bend in the frame, because I think by putting weights on the, the chair, it, it compressed the, the bracket, I guess, and moved, I don't know, but I'll figure it out. So for now, I'm gonna do this, just get the, the clear off and see if it looks clean until I start falling asleep, because right now I'm just some awake. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod do a time lapse on this, see how far I can get before I get frustrated and just want to call it a day and do it tomorrow. That's the game plan. So I'll see you guys on the tripod. You see where all the lines are? Whenever I pull, that's the part where it's going to end out. So it's like a big puzzle. I just got to peel each section, section <laughs> off. And when I first installed the chrome fiber hood, I slammed it. And the hood wasn't correct. And I spider cracked this. 
and I have another one that's over there. But like I said, sat out in the sun for what five, five years, five, six years, and cats were sleeping on it, scratching it. So, but yeah, this is gonna be very tedious. And this is a 3M clear tape or vinyl, vinyl wrap. So I was supposed to put this on top of the whole trunk. And as you can see that when you use it, it doesn't fade. So damn, I should have probably just wrapped this whole hood with the clear and it would have been easy just to clean up all the sticky glue stuff and never have lost the coat and wouldn't be that faded. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put you guys back on the tripod and yeah, get you going. So let's get this going. The clear bra or the clear bra, the M3 clear wrap, it protected the carbon fiber. Look how clean it still looks. I mean, compared to that, to that, I mean, I got all the sticky stuff I need to heat up and wipe it off. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. But I'm working on this part first because there's not a lot of cracks here. I can get as much as possible before I start doing this little puzzle stuff first. So. Um, yeah, so not too bad. It's working pretty good with the, the blow dryer that I found in the garage. So just going to go ahead and finish this up. But I just want to show you guys that, you know, it's pretty good. It kept looking really clean under here for, and if you can look, the wrap, like, got burnt up from the heat. So, yeah, but, I mean, there you go. So, I mean, you know, not too bad. I mean, actually was happy for what, five, six years it's been on now. So let me try to finish this up and we'll see about how to clean this sticky stuff off. All right, so finally got it done. It is currently 12.36, so I am getting sleepy. I got it all off, so I just gotta sweep it up and throw it in the trash, and tomorrow is, or today, is trash day, so I gotta bring out the garbage can. But, um, yeah, so crazy part is, once I get all this, sticky stuff off just that section is going to be brand new looking and everything faded so yeah i'm gonna to have to sand down all this and get it to where it's nice and smooth and then apply the clear coat uh which i think that's how it's done i'll have to look up some stuff how to refurbish this but i'm gonna head out to bed because i'm freaking tired um and then I'll, tomorrow morning I'll get up and figure out how to get the sticky stuff off. But I mean, you can see the current fiber is good. And then once you cross over where the bra is, then it gets its game ball. So, yeah, and then there's that spider crag that I did. Because I slammed it hella hard and I pressed down with my palm. So that was me installing the hood and being frustrated and there's my own stupidity and then I have another one right here if you guys can see there it is so I gotta sand all that down and me being 
upset I actually just punched my hood but yeah that's all in the past so I'm gonna clean this up tomorrow morning and see how to take it off um, I actually might have to uh, DM uh, with Paradox the rapper and ask him what would he use to take this off because honestly I don't know I don't know if it's just soap water um, so yeah I uh, will uh, hit him up see if he replies if not I'll just soap water or google something I guess I don't know but I'll see you guys in the morning yeah so I'm tired all right good night guys I'll see you guys in a couple seconds all right good morning everybody um next day wrap is off um got my iPad set up so I can watch YouTube while I clean this um, I did reach out to Paradox, uh, the rapper, uh, through Instagram. He messaged me back, told me that um, to take this off, uh, Goo Gone would be the best or another option, and then 70% rubbing alcohol, and the rest would be water in a spray bottle. Now, I'm all out of rubbing alcohol, and I know I have Goo Gone somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. And I probably don't have time to run to the store because I have an order of 30 shirts I need to do today so the only thing I'm gonna try is some elbow grease I got my old what's it popcorn bucket of water warm water and soap and I put it in a Windex bottle but it's at dollar store totally awesome this is, um, was a degreaser so it's made for everything so I'm gonna try that first spray it on here see how that works if anything just rub it out um, hopefully it's not hard. Hopefully I can get it done. I mean, I do still need to sand the hood and clear coat it. So it's not like really going to do anything wrong to the hood because the whole hood is going to be sanded down. So yeah, let me get started. Um, yeah, I want to give a shout out to, uh, Paradox Rapper. Thank you for, uh, hitting me back up and I hope eventually in the future we can do some rapping on the Civic. So, uh, yeah, make sure you follow his Instagram. I'm going to put it right here. And then also check him out on his YouTube channel. He does great rapping. I mean, I like it. I'm a big fan of it. So, uh, yeah, make sure you check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on the tripod, time lapse it, and hopefully it comes out good. So see you guys in a bit. Halfway done, and what is off so you guys can see it. But if you guys see the difference, in the without the sticky stuff, and I mean it's came off. So I used the uh, the soap and that was a totally awesome at the dollar dollar store. I mean I put it in Windex bottle so I can have a spray bottle. But yeah, it works. So just gonna finish that up. And then after I'm done with this, you know, it's crazy how how dark that is, and then just spray a little bit of that on it. And then you see the carbon fiber again. So I mean Damn, I just wish it the whole hood still looked like that, but hey, it is what it is. So, I mean, it's working totally awesome, and just soap water from using soap from Kirkland, uh, Kirkland brand, so the Costco. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and we will be done. So, back on the tripod. <laughs> Yeah. 
basically saved my hood or that section because yeah look at that so from six years of being faded to there we go and I think I actually bought this bought this hood and the trunk at the same time I think it was like in two, 2010 yeah so I bought the trunk and hood 2010 got the car 2010 so basically I bought every single thing for this car and had it sit in my living room for I think a couple months before I did anything to the car and then my buddy owns a shop took it to the shop and had everything installed and it took about two weeks so how do you see the car basically that was done in two weeks and then headed out to Weed Fest in 2011, I think. I don't know, it was like, it was basically everything was basically a Christmas present to myself. So, but yeah, so there you go. That's how the hood looks. Um, I did find, let me see if I can find it here. In one of these cabinets. Not that one. We got the wax uh, and a polisher. So, so I have all these goodies for the house. I need to go through still, but I think I'm gonna run this and see what happens if I buff on there. So I'll show you guys a before and after of how it comes out, but. I'll do that eventually later. I'm about to go jump in the shower, get dressed, and take this dog for a walk or take him to the park. And then um, I gotta go head over to my sister's house and do these 30 screen print shirts. So I gotta make some money so I can make some more content for you guys. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I mean, bam, it was clean when it was new, so um, yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one, like, comment, subscribe, and you know, tell, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that clear wrap, I mean, should I have, when I fix this, should I just wrap the whole hood with a clear wrap to have very, very, very protected? I mean, it worked. It's just, it was a mess of cleanup after taking it off. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace and be safe.